10 tips for buying a used iPhone. That's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech helping you to master your technology and welcome to the 10 tips to buying a used iPhone. Now all these iPhones you see on the table here are used and refurbished iPhones and I'm going to share with you what I've learned in my experience to help you out in the venture if you're going to be buying a used iPhone. Now, I got 10 to share with you here and at the end of the video you are going to get some bonus tips on to how to buy a used iPhone so you might want to stick around for the whole video. So number one is to make sure that the iPhone still looks new or relatively new. So here is the iPhone 5. I do not recommend you guys buy this, but this is the only iPhone I got this kind of banged up. And you can see right here, really scuffed up around the edges, meaning it's taken a beating. Now this doesn't always mean that the phone is not functional. It does not work. But I mean, if you're going to be buying a used phone, you might as well get it in a good condition. So I recommend if you're buying a used iPhone, don't buy one that's all banged up and scuffed up. Look for something that's more along the lines of this iPhone 6. Now, this was a used iPhone here, and you can see it's in very good condition. It looks pretty much new across the board and looks pretty great all around. So definitely look for a phone that's in pretty good condition. You're going to like that here. And definitely stay away from anybody who's selling a phone like this that's all cracked up and banged up. You definitely don't want to buy this because even though that the body is functional you're definitely going to lose money on this investment because what you have to do is replace the whole screen and sometimes it breaks into the body and you'll buy this phone online you'll see it used for really cheap and you're like okay i'll just go get a new screen and then what happens is they tell you that you know what it's messed up here so we have to do some structural work to the phone and that basically makes you have to pay twice as much as you would originally have paid just looking for the right phone here number two is to make sure that you do not buy a fake iphone so how do you spot this well basically it's pretty easy you can go down here and make sure that it says designed by apple in california that's a good way to spot if it's a fake or not look for the apple logo make sure it's the legit apple logo pretty easy to tell because they look a little bit off and they're off centered if it's a fake like to the right a little bit they're not perfectly centered because they can't really copy it totally or they would get sued all to hell so also you can check the os so go into the settings here and this is what a, a lot of people comment like you got a fake iphone none of my phones are fake on this channel if you go into general you go into about section you'll see that it does say ios 10.3 version here for the iphone 6 so you just know that it's ios that's a dead giveaway that it's not a you know a real iphone it's a fake if you go ahead and you don't have ios on there so number two is to make sure you don't buy a fake one number three is to go ahead and verify the imei on your iphone so this also can be found here under the iphone logo it's right it's placed right here and there's plenty of imei checkers online just go on google and type in imei checker and you could check to see if this is a stolen phone or something like that or if it has iCloud lock on it you could check things like that as well so definitely go ahead and check your IMEI before you go ahead and buy an iPhone online Number four is to verify that you do not have a locked iPhone. You can do this by going to Apple's activation lock status tool online. Just do a quick Google search and you can check to see if this has been a stolen iPhone or not once again. So go ahead and do that if you're looking to buy a used iPhone. Go ahead and check the, you know, if it's an activated phone, like if it's still on service, meaning somebody found it in the park and somebody's still paying the bill for it, you're not going to be able to use it. So use their activation tool online. Now this next one's a little bit more tricky and that's to verify that you don't have water damage to your iPhone. The way to do this is you actually have to take the case off so you have to remove the penelope screws here and take the rear casing off the iPhone. This is a little bit more tricky so uh, this one you might want to once you get your iPhone take it to maybe the closest phone guy to you and go ahead and have them check to see if this guy is water damaged. So yeah make sure you don't buy a water damaged iPhone if you're looking to buy a used iPhone. One thing to make sure you always check is the camera on your iPhone if you're buying a used iPhone so if you get it make sure that the pictures are pleasing to you check the video quality as well to see if it does turn out sharp this is a great way to know if you've been getting scammed or ripped off do not get one with a messed up camera sometimes 
people crack iPhones, they rebuild them and they put a crappy sensor in there and you don't even have the legit Apple sensor. I actually had this happen with one of my 5S's. So definitely make sure you check the camera right out of the gate because the last thing you want to do is use this phone for a week, your return period ends on whoever you bought it from and then you have this crappy camera on your smartphone. Number seven is to go ahead and check the battery life. So how do you do this? You simply turn this baby up to max brightness, turn on Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth, make a couple of calls here when you get your iPhone and check that battery life. If that thing has dropped down rapidly, like three to five percent, just in those little few minutes that you were messing around with this phone, there's a battery issue on the iPhone you just purchased. Also, you can go ahead and download a battery app that will go ahead and check the status of the cycles on your battery. There's plenty of apps on the App Store. I'm not going to show them with you here. Just type in battery checker on App Store and there'll be plenty of apps that'll show you the cycle life. And if it has a lot of cycles, you might need to get the battery replaced. Now, this one is not one I would send it back for. You can simply go buy a battery online and have someone put it in and put it in yourself and you have a fresh new battery. But it's still something to make sure uh, you don't want to buy when you buy a new iPhone is to make sure you don't buy one that has an old messed up battery because sometimes when you buy those replacement batteries the battery life is never the same as when the iPhone was new right out of the box. Number eight, if you're buying a used iPhone, is to go ahead and check to see if Wi-Fi works, GPS, Bluetooth, and all the functionality things that you're gonna need on your iPhone. Now, it might seem like common sense to do this, but a lot of people don't. You know, I've seen people buy a phone used and they just go ahead and think everything works and then they come to find out later, oh, this don't work, this don't work. And then they go ahead and blame Apple when it's really that the phone, that the person who owned it before was just really rough on their phone. It had an issue, they never replaced it, and now they sold it to you. So make sure you check all of these functionality things like privacy location you know bluetooth wi-fi settings to make sure that all of these things are functional because these are very useful and practical features you're going to need on a day-to-day -day basis number nine is to go ahead and check that 3.5 millimeter headset jack if you are buying an iphone prior to the iphone 7 series used these guys are notorious for being broken and messed up and this is not something you're going to notice right away because I think when you first get an iPhone you're not sticking your headphones in there right away you're messing around with it you're playing with it and you know this is something to check right out of the gate for an iPhone used especially if you're buying it in store and you can play with it like a used shop or something like that if you're buying it online you might have to check it when you get home and then send it back to the seller if there's a problem but check that 3.5 millimeter headset jack right away. Another tip that I could recommend to you when you guys go ahead and buy an iPhone is to check to make sure that all the volume rockers, touch ID, all these buttons work. So go like this, turn up the volume and things like this. Make sure that all the buttons on the phone work right away. Now this one I think most of us knew already, but you just want to share. I just want to share it anyway, just to remind you to check to make sure the silent switch works, everything on the iPhone works. And that's a good sign that you're going to be having a pretty good purchase here in your used iPhone. That is 10 tips on how to buy a used iPhone. You know, these tips should help you get a really good purchase in your next used iPhone purchase if you decide to buy them. But I also said in the beginning of this video that I would share with you a couple bonus things if you're going to go buy a used iPhone and those bonus things are check for dead pixels now this one's a little bit trickier you have to have an eye for detail for things like this but examine the screen and see if you see any like little dots in the screen that's a sign you have dead pixels on your iPhone another thing I would recommend is you guys go ahead and check the speaker phone on the iPhone that you do purchase make sure that that speaker phone does work up to your liking if not go ahead and take it back or send it back to the seller. Also, I would make a phone call to test the speaker quality. So the earpiece up here, I also do that because, you know, I had a Galaxy S4, I think it was the one I showed you on the channel. That phone actually, the speaker grill does not work anymore. And that was a used phone. So I do wanna recommend you guys check the earpiece, phone call quality and text messaging as well. And those are the bonus things I was gonna share with you at the end of this video. Also, one more thing to note is that if you're buying on some sites like Swappa, eBay, take a look at the seller's history, take a look at the ratings. You know, this is gonna tell you a lot about the reputation of that seller. But anyway, this is 10 tips on how to buy a used iPhone. If this helped you out, guys, do me a favor, click the like button for me, share this with any of your friends, family members, anybody you know who is buying a used iPhone, be like, look, I don't have time to tell you how to buy one, but Nick's got this video out. Go check this out. This should help you with everything you need to know. And uh, I will catch you all in the next one. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.